rock. All right, welcome to the van. <laughs> I've been living in the van. I was actually living in the van before uh, the trip for about four months, and I figured I'd do it just for like a month right when I got back. And then some things developed internationally. I got back mid-January, so luckily, well, I did it. 38,000 kilometers, which is 25,000 miles, across 14 countries. And uh, as you can see, I'm not dead, uh, <laughs> contrary to the belief of me. Um, yeah, I did drop off there for a while. Unfortunately, my MacBook crapped out on me right after I got back to Guatemala, so I was never even able to finish uh, the second part of that crazy story about what happened in Guatemala. Uh, if you haven't seen the, the first part of that, you can jump back and watch it. Um, now that I've had some space from it, the story's a little different. I found out a lot more details when I got back to Guatemala uh, to finish my trip. And uh, I'll be sharing those uh, later as we get to that point uh, in the trip. But the purpose of this video is really just to give you kind of a teaser, I guess, of some of the stuff that I shot over the course of the last year. Um, and just really kind of the direction aesthetically that uh, the channel's gonna take because as you'll see, it's pretty crazy stuff. Uh, so it's gonna be quite an experience. I hope that you'll join me for that. We're just about to a thousand subscribers right now, which was actually the goal for last year was just to get to a thousand. So even though I didn't post for a whole year, we're kind of about where I was hoping we'd be. Um, it sucks that I wasn't able to continue vlogging uh, on the trip itself. And in fact, I didn't really even continue recording vlogs for a lot of the trip. I really focused just on getting the footage um, so that I could tell the stories um, myself with a, you know, just a little more production value. Um, I don't know, I, I, it, was, it was a hot mess. <laughs> so I'm really excited to show you what I've got cooking and uh, the videos will be popping out much faster from here on out. Um, thank you so much for watching and uh, here's the teaser video. I just finished the music for it. All the music you'll hear on this channel uh, is stuff I wrote myself or is something my friends wrote and if it wasn't me who wrote it, I'll tell you who wrote it. So here we go.
me really excited uh, to keep on editing and going through all this stuff. Um, most of that was from Mexico and Central America. I barely touched South America and that I'd say probably 15 out of my 20 favorite locations aren't even uh, aren't even in there because I just kept pulling out stuff and I was like, oh, this is cool. This is cool. This is cool. Um, so the plan is I've got what I have shot is um, reviews, like 25,000 mile reviews of my main gear, what I liked, what I didn't. Um, I think that's going to be helpful. Um, I know people are definitely looking for that kind of stuff. Uh, but on top of that, I've got a lot of stories that I'd like to tell. I'm kind of going to shift away from the episodal format a little bit because since it's now there's some space between it, I don't really see the point in like constantly trying to update uh, every aspect of the trip or like show the whole thing in its entirety. Um, you know, there were times that you know, where it wasn't really that exciting. Um, on top of that, I have at least probably 10 route reviews of some of the most beautiful, scenic, interesting places that I saw. Um, and I think those will be places that you're going to want to take that GPS pin down and you're going to want to put it on your map. I probably spent 30 minutes to an hour and a half every single day just looking over maps and looking for places that I didn't want to miss. Um, so I feel like I can be really helpful in that sense. Um, I did feel like that was one part of the trip that I really nailed. I got to see everything that I wanted to, I think. Uh, there were a couple things here and there I didn't get to see, like the flight of the monarchs uh, in monarch season in Mexico. But for the most part, I think I, I think I really did uh, good on that. Uh, yeah, so uh, I guess my question for you is what's going to help you? What would you like to see? Um, are you more interested in the vloggy lifestyle day-to-day -day stuff? Are you more interested in, in the gear aspect? Are you more interested in the bike stuff? Are you more interested in the specific challenges? Um, I think another thing that I focused a lot on in my prep to, to start making these videos is like, what did I do wrong? Um, because I'm, look, and I've said this before, I am not an expert. I've only been riding for like six years. Um, I don't even have a motorcycle right now. I sold it to a guy from Portugal at the end of my trip when I was in Ushuaia, which is a whole other crazy story. Uh, Jal, if you're listening, you're the man. Yeah, so just let me know in the comments kind of where, what you are interested in seeing, what you'd, uh, what you'd like to watch. Uh, Cause that'll help me prioritize all these videos going forward. I have like 50 videos that I want to make. I was writing a list uh, the whole trip of stuff. I was like, oh man, people need to know this. Oh, people need to know this. And there are there were so many things that I didn't expect. There were so many things that I was wrong about. And I feel like that's the stuff I can really help uh, 
help you guys with the most. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, please hit the like button, please subscribe, please hit the notification bell. It's really gonna help me as I finally hit a thousand and my channel kind of gets unlocked. I'm not a new channel anymore. I can finally start doing some organic growth and showing up in search results and maybe we'll do some live streams or you know whatever. I, I don't know what the future is gonna look like exactly. It's a lot of it's gonna depend on what um, you guys say and what you guys wanna hear, uh, but I cannot wait uh, to, to finally get back to it and get editing now that I kind of have like a little studio set up here in the van I've been trying to like sit on the bed with my laptop like on my knees editing this stuff And it's just been impossible, but now like ugh, as you can see I have a monitor and my computer and so yeah uh, Something to sit on <laughs> things are getting a lot easier. So I'll see you guys on the next one Please uh, in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see and if you know anybody who's thinking about doing a crazy trip like this um or is interested in this kind of stuff, or maybe just even rides motorcycles and is getting into touring a little bit, or whatever, just um, shoot them a link to my channel. It helps so much. That's the way that these things grow. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Cheers.